welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different. I know almost every video I do something with the eyes or whatever. So today I wanted to come in and show you how I do my contour and my highlight. I am not sure if this is really a traditional way to do it, but I figured out some little tricks and hacks that help me out a lot. So I thought I would show you all. I'm going to start doing these pretty often. Um, the way I do my makeup, I try to find little cheats in there to make it just a little bit easier. And I thought I would share what knowledge I have with y'all. So I've already got on everything on my face except for contour, highlight, and blush. Pretty much. Um, and concealer. Because first steps first, I use my concealer to highlight my face. And of course my favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape and I use the color Light Neutral. So if you're about my complexion, if you're pretty pale, this is a really good color to use. Now before I really started in makeup, I would grab the lightest shade they had and it would just make my under eyes look super bright with lots of flashback and it was terrible. So the nice lady at Sephora taught me that you really just want like one or two shades lighter than what you are and it'll look a lot more natural. So first steps first is to take this and I always get the excess off because there's a ton of it on there and a little bit goes a long way. So I just dab it here and here and then I come up here and put some there. I try to bring it as close to straight down my nose as I can and that is to highlight and also because my nose is always really red. Um, just a thing. Then I put some right here and on my chin. And that covers all the main spots that I need to conceal and the spots that I need to highlight. And then I give it just a second and I blend it in. Okay, so the way that I blend this in is I just take a beauty blender and I always use just a regular one for my concealer. And by the way, while I'm here, look at this cute stand. I got a set of three because I have three different beauty blenders I use every day. I use one for my foundation that you're not going to see and then another one and this for my concealer. So I always do this down the middle first and I just pat it. And I don't ever wet my beauty blender. I'm sure if I did, it would probably change my life, but I haven't. But I just pat these and blend them. And with my nose, sometimes I take it off the edges like today. My nose is super red. So it's going to get concealed a little bit more. And then pat it in up here. Okay, so then's the eyes. This you have to be careful with if you put your eyeshadow on first, which I normally do. You have to be sure not to get it like up on your eye and I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's possible. I've done it, I promise. But I just pat it out until it's everywhere that I want it. And then I just pat it until it's blended a little bit better. And sometimes this is going to look lighter, but we still have more to do. So we'll take care of that. But by the way, this shape tape is amazing. I mean, my foundation does a lot to get rid of my dark circles. But this shape tape just like takes it home. And I will have to touch up my inner corner when I'm done, <clears throat> which is normal. And you can also, I'm rambling, but you can also use your concealer. Say you got a big mess out here. You can bring it up to kind of cut that line. I'm not doing that today because this is supposed to be very smoked out, but you can. And by the way, shout out to, I believe, Angela Bright is the video that I watched today while I did my makeup with my Jaclyn Hill palette. And it does not look anything like hers did, but that was my inspiration today. 
Okay, so now that I've done that, I do this a little bit backwards, I think. I take a big fluffy brush. This is a doe color brush. It's just off of Amazon. I take this and I take some Tarte Amazonian clay bronzer. This is Park Avenue Princess. It's what I use almost every day. And I just swirl my brush in here. And then what I do is I go over all the areas that I know I want to contour and I warm them up with my bronzer. So I'll take it here and then I sweep it around my forehead. And this, you can just stop here if you don't feel like contouring, but what I'm teaching you today is contouring. So obviously I'm not gonna stop here, but a lot of days, um, if I'm not wearing a ton of makeup or if I just don't have time to contour, I just stop here and I just warm my face up with this bronzer and then take my next couple of steps but I leave the contouring out sometimes and this is all I do and I always put some under here too I uh, just feel like this helps to shape a little bit and your whole face gets warmed up so if you can see you know through here it's looking really warm I got some color which I never have yeah it's okay though okay so next I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush and I have been using this studio makeup it's the loose luminous blush we got it in boxycharm and i take this same brush and it's a sifter so i i dip my bristles into the sifter and that gets me just a little bit on the end and then i just put that on the apples of my cheek and i try to make sure that wherever i've gotten the most is exactly what part of the brush i use uh, this way I don't I don't really waste any and I feel like it's easier for me to build it up to exactly the intensity that I want so there is my blush and so this is my daily face now for the contour <clears throat> I don't know if y'all have caught on, but I always use my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I only have one other, con well, I have two other contour palettes. I have a Makeup Revolution, which works amazing. It's only $15, super affordable. It's what I started out with. Um, I used to use it all the time, and then I upgraded to this. You can definitely tell a difference in quality, um, and the shades are better for me. You, And I also have the one we got in BoxyCharm a few months back. So what I've been doing for my skin tone, I go into this light contour here. If I'm trying to be super dramatic, I'll hit medium, but I will never, ever, ever touch this. But if you're really tan, you might want to go into the darker contour. I'm really pale. I'm like second to the lightest shade in Fenty foundation, which means I'm one shade from Albino, pretty much. So for me to use light contour, that's actually still a little bit dark. So I take this, uh, it's a white bristle brush that's a little rougher than other ones, and I just take it and I dip this in here and tap it off so I don't go crazy. And then I'll take it usually around like where my hair stops, like right here, like where my sideburns are, and I just drag it down. And I try not to put too much, which I just did, but that's okay. And then I do the same thing on the other side, doing my best to get it as even as possible. And it probably won't be, you takes a lot of practice. And like right now, I'm working off my two small mirrors that I record with. So it's a little harder to get it even. So once I've done this, I take this brush, I'm kind of trying to get some of the contour off of it. And I just kind of attack the contour. I don't know if that's the right word. I just go over it. And I, I'm blending with this brush. But I just go over and over this contour. Try to blend it in. Try to get it to make sense. Sometimes if I can't, um, I'll get like an oval brush that has maybe a little bit of leftover foundation on it. 
and I'll use that to kind of calm this down and blend it in a little bit better. And in this case, I think I'm going to go ahead and just use my beauty blender to kind of calm this down a little bit. And I'll use the one that I use for my concealer. So I'll take this and just pat it on top of this contour. And this will help blend it in and kind of help get these harsh lines and lighten it up a little bit. But you can still tell that there is contour. You just don't get that harsh line. And also, it, it looks a lot different in person than it does on the viewfinder. So like if this looks a little bit scary, that's because I've got kind of bright lights in front of me and a camera right on me. But if I'm wearing it daily, it's not going to look that bad. Like it's not going to be that harsh or that dark. But I'm going to take just a little bit more of this light contour and I'm just going to put it around here. And that's just to warm my face up a little bit more. And you can, I mean, of course, I'm dropping everything. <clears throat> you can blend this in. Take this, it's got your little bit of blush still on it and bronzer and just kind of blend it. And then you can take a little bit more and sweep it under here. <clears throat> And then just kind of blend it in. And I find that this also helps like if your foundation isn't quite the right color for some reason, doing this contour under here kind of seems to help. Okay, so I also usually do contour on my nose. Uh, for that, I'm just going to go ahead and take, man, well. I forgot to put that brush over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of this beauty blender, dip it in this light contour, get just a teeny bit, and I'm just going to dab it up my nose. And this actually, I've done this some days, this actually works a little bit better than a brush because you can kind of control it a little bit better. And then with this, you have to make sure you get this even or you're going to make your nose look crooked. So if you're in a hurry, I wouldn't do this. Um, just not the best idea unless you have time to actually be sure it's evened out. It just takes a little bit of practice for me. I, I have a huge nose. I'm sure you all have noticed by now. So for me, it's not too hard because I have plenty of space to work with. And once I do that, I take a blending sponge or a oval brush or whatever, and I just blend it in so that it's not harsh because you do not want these lines on your nose to be harsh at all. I mean, maybe you do, but I know that I don't. And like I said, everything and this viewfinder looks way more harsh than it does in person, but it just kind of slims your nose down. Okay, so for me, I do not set my concealer and stuff. I use, like with setting powder, I use my highlight to do that. So what I do here, and it depends on the day, I dip into either the beige or the yellow highlight. Today I'm going to do beige. And I have this beauty blender that is flat on one end. So I take it circle it in here, it gets me a lot of product, and I just dab it anywhere I put my concealer. Uh, typically, I just dab it here under my eyes, and you just literally spin it on here, get your product. <clears throat> and if you have one that has the flat edge up here, it'll work better. I can't be super precise with this because it does have this rounded edge. And then I take it and I cut across down here 
and this gives my contour somewhere to stop and do the same thing over here and I don't really let it bake but I do typically let it sit for a little bit just to kind of set everything in put a little bit up here but I let it sit so that it can kind of set everything. <clears throat> and then I take this fluffy brush most days and I just use it to sweep away whatever extra is left over. And it usually gets away most of it and then I just kind of use my fingers to get the rest of it. But I just do that. And that sets my powder. <clears throat> if my shape tape has let me down a little on that day, it also helps cover my dark circles just a little bit. And it gives me just a really refreshed kind of look. So now, all that's left is the actual shiny highlight that, I don't know if you love it, but I do. Today I'm going to be using Eclipse. This is the Jeffree Star Manny MUA uh, collab. And it looks like this. Like I said before, these are huge. They're a little bit bigger in the palm of my hand. And they last forever and they have a massive mirror. Literally almost the size of my face. Or like half of my face, but you know. So first thing I'm gonna do is just take a teeny bit of this and fix my inner corners that I messed up when I was doing my concealer and no this is not what I had on them earlier but this just looks great in inner corners and on brow bones but usually if I've messed it up instead of going back and grabbing my eyeshadow I just use whatever highlight I've got out so I'm going to use this massive fan brush I don't usually use this but I do find that it's a lot easier to kind of build up what you want to so I'm gonna use it today, and you just take it and just kinda sweep it over here on the, like above where you put your blush is where I put mine. And I am a big fan of a blinding highlight. If you're not, you can stop after one go, but I love for my highlight to be seen across the biggest room and just shine it's my favorite thing so you just take it on both sides do that and if you want to you can also take it and I'm just going to use my finger for this and put a little bit on your nose and kind of run it up and put some on your cupid's bow that just gives you a little extra shine and uh yeah that is contour and highlight and now the last thing you need to do to finish off any look is setting spray and it's so refreshing. For my setting spray, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is almost everyone's holy grail. It's about 20 bucks, I think. Um, one little thing of it lasts forever and you just And it's just amazing. Let it dry. Your makeup will not move. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, if you do your contour and highlight different, I would love to see how you do it or hear how you do it. Tell me in the comments below. And uh, if there's anything else you'd like to learn how to do, let me know and I'll do my best to show you.
I hope y'all have a great day. Be sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all again in a couple of days. Bye.